grasp on this offense. Let's see what he has for the LSU defense today. A pump to the flat. He unloads down the sideline. A one-on-one. -on -one. You go right at Greedy Williams, and you got to go up and make a play. That time, Jamar Smith reads the throws it up, and Hardy with a good catch. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Is that ball good? We welcome you to Baton Rouge Tiger Stadium, a sellout tonight. It's the opening drive for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs to start this drive for the Bulldogs. Has them into LSU territory. Smith with pressure from the backside. Throws in. Got to watch 40 because not only does he play with great speed, he just has a feel for the game. He knows where to blitz and gets right through. And that happened since 2010. It's crazy to think that they've got a better game manager in the year two for a starting quarterback, J. Mar Smith. Last year, they went through his ups and downs, had bumps and bruises. This year, year two with J. Mar Smith, they believe he a, has a much better handle on the offense. He quickly lets it fly. He finds Dancy, who took the carry on the first play. And he Last year at Georgia, Devin White fits that same mold of an inside linebacker that can run sideline to sideline. Four-man rush on first and ten, and Rashid. Know if the offensive line for Louisiana Tech can handle the pressure that Louisiana LSU can present, so you may spread them out, keep this defensive line running east and west. Setting up for the screen and the inside pass to Hardy. He's coverage. Well, you got the safety in the middle, Grant Delpit, number nine, Rome in the middle, makes it hard on quarterbacks. Empty backfield, a couple of pump fakes, and an overthrow. The only time that the Bulldogs have won in this series, you got to go all the way back to 1904 when they played twice in one season. Smith with a fastball, and that comes loose, scooped up by the Tigers. The defense pounces and delivers. At LSU, they, it's nothing new to this football team. They create turnovers. That time, Fulton, Christian Fulton, the junior, breaks that football. And then Devin White showing you he's just not an athletic linebacker. Showing off the run. LSU out defensively. They haven't really gone to the air as much, trying to soften the passing game up by running the football. That's swatted away, intended for Alfred. They go with a silent count, or what we've seen is quarterbacks clap their hands. That time, Rashard Lawrence just missed it by a hair. Smith, a short throw, dropped by Bunt, is their strongest personnel wise. Well, I would have to go with that secondary. With Delpit in the middle, we haven't called his name yet, but number nine is lurking. And that ball's tipped up and out. Play all over the defense, but watch the patience. He reads the quarterback's eyes, and when the ball is reads, watch the jump he gets on the football. After only having played in front of a, the largest crowd of about 6,200 during his D2 days, now the crowds have come here to kick in the SEC. Look, this is not only fun for him, but he's embracing, and the guys have really embraced him as if he's been here for all, forever. Smith threw it behind his intended target. It's bobbled. Up in the air was up for grabs, and Ed Paris came away with it. Yeah, it's called tips and overthrows. That means that you got to be around the football, and that's a terrific job of just staying around and being by the football. Ed Paris, the safety, in for Grant Delpit, who went back to the locker room. We're still waiting to hear what's going on with him. But did it in 1976 to beat two top 10 teams in the first three weeks of the season. Well, I would think that's something that you would talk about down here in Baton Rouge, but that's not the case. They still feel disrespected around the country about the way how they've won. They still feel that they know what's ahead of them. That's some bigger matchups, but so far, you gotta be excited by the two victories early on, the big victories. The Battle of the Cats, the Bengals, Panthers, 
I think people down here in Louisiana love that matchup, the rivalry matchup, Saints-Falcons tomorrow. Big one in the NFC South. Smith on the run, and a ball that they had to wait for. The LSU offense this year has been trying to push the ball down the field, and so far you're seeing Louisiana Tech now. They've had a couple opportunities to get the ball down the field, but you got to make them. you got to make a catch that time ball and bring it in. And you see this time hold it and taking it all the way in down to the ground, not allowing the defenders of LSU to take it out. You know, he missed a big time opportunity. He read that one. Just the patience. You look for a screen play here if you're LSU on defense. Louisiana Tech called two plays in the huddle to get right back on the ball. And it's a quick delivery for C.J. Powell. He turned, he caught it, and went up. To get called. That's the reason why you go to Louisiana Tech. The pitch for Dancy. Let's his defense go. Second down, and the ball is swatted. And that incomplete. 40, Devin White. Not only you see him chase guys down that time, knocking a pass away. You're Louisiana Tech. You better find 40. Make sure you've got a designated blocker for him because he's a one man record crew so far. Smith off his back foot on third down, picks up the first down, a couple of spins, a stretch, and a touchdown. Action came against Mississippi State. So, how's that for starting your college career? On a zip line toward the sideline, the FBS team without a turnover. The list at zero is no more. Bulldogs have a chance to take a shot. And Smith. But how do you get this thing in the field goal range with 30 seconds left and going feeling really good about yourself? Only down a couple scores. Flag down back at the guys in there. Fioco, the same thing. No one, you throw your arms up in the air. That's a veteran move by the junior from Hawaii. Smith's got to run. He slides. They've got we talk a lot about O'Shea Dugas, the left tackle, the biggest guy out of 6'5", 330 pounds. But that time, <laughs> Brendan Fioco, that wow. <laughs> showing you the strength of all games. And watching his son play right now, one of the heart and soul players along that defensive front, showing off a little power on that last play. Early motion along the line. And a short drop off. Dancy gets down to the 31. After a gain of three, a nice whip and gave Smith just a little bit of time to get the ball to the outside. That's something that you want to see more of for Louisiana Tech this half. It's the run game opening up those lanes for the pass, especially balls to the outside. Smith pursued from the backside and just shovels it with two hands. Coaches cannot teach. That's hustle. Number six, Jacob Phillips comes from the outside. There is no foul for intentional grounding. Number nine was does in not the area. want to be blocked. <laughs> Looks to be right arm. That's a blow to this defense for LSU. It's Adrian. Amount of time that Jamar Smith had so far this half. They've seen something within this LSU defense. They are not only taking their time now, they're not up tempo. They're allowing the routes to develop and letting Smith kind of pick where he wants to throw the football. He navigates his way into an open space and right between the hash marks. It's hard to talk to his offensive coordinator, Todd Fitch. And Fitch told us basically, look, he's a better game manager. He understands situations. That time, the situation was step up in the pocket and deliver a nice throw. That's what he did in the last play.
Rashid Bonnet around the outside, hooked out. Similar look for Bonnet. It was your, your best drive, but you called your best, didn't call your best play on third down. Now you've got a rush. Out of the pocket, the stretch, touchdown. And for more on the extra yard for teachers, you can go visit the college football play. And you can tell by my text messaging to you that I've got great grammar, right? Your use of the Oxford comma is lacking sometimes. <laughs> Very disappointing. Second down and 10 here for Louisiana Tech. Down by 10. Tigers brought three. And it's third down and scout onto the field. Well, he's a guy that'll wake you up really quickly, especially on this defense. And he's got his running mate back, John Battle, number 26. Had to sit out the first half due to suspension for targeting last week. Now LSU hole on the safety position. The empty backfield. The Tigers bring four. Smith with a drop off over the middle. On the defense, but every time he gets right at the line of scrimmage, he lets the ball go. And when you throw the football, LSU defenders will be near. That could have been a sports center top to the end of tech. They're going to throw the ball. They're going to put the ball in the air. These defensive backs know they've got opportunities to knock the ball up and get some interceptions. Quick burst. Tigers didn't recognize screen as quickly as they would have liked. Read the pressure of LSU. They allow the pressure to get up the field. You throw a nice screen behind it. You get a nice little block from Ethel, Louisiana. No, oh, he's got some family here. Showing a nice little excitement, a little burst, and a nice finish. Only carried the ball 30 times in the last two years. Getting a huge stage tonight. Flag down, over throwing over the far in the backfield. Just try. Offensive linemen always try to get away with that. They try to get an extra step to give them the better angle. Now look at Shipley now, the right tackle, 54, all the way up on that line of scrimmage. Well, after you said that, no wonder what position you played. <laughs> Spoken like a former linebacker. <laughs> Smith sidearms it, and it's in for the playoffs, and he'll be on Sunday Night Baseball tomorrow night as well against the Indians from Cleveland. You couldn't wait to drop that baseball knowledge, huh? You waited all week for that, huh? <laughs> I love it. I love it. This looks like, well, almost three quarters of the way through this third quarter, but it's these are the type of drives that Louisiana Tech, they've been needing all game. On third and eight, standing tall and defended beautiful with Jalen Ferguson. They may need to look to help out Deculus on the right tackle before helping out on the left. Smith looking deep, first long throw tonight. Adrian Hardy again, that's been his top target. He's caught six passes. The next closest receiver has three tonight. And there have been a lot of throws that have gone long from Smith. And that's, you can see the disappointment in his face. He knew he had a step on the defender. It was Kelvin Joseph, the true freshman for LSU. Did Smith. Across the 35 yard line. Great to see him back in the offense, getting to the flow of the game. Alfred's next Saturday, 7.30 Eastern, Ohio State with a massive win over Tulane today and Urban Meyer's return. Louisiana Tech looking for what would be a massive win. The last 51 numbers like that, Milton definitely will find his way to the Downtown Athletic Club in early December. Crowd was juiced on third down and six, and it goes to Hardy. You got to find windows, and sometimes you know you're going to get hit. And 40 Devin White's bearing down, but he still delivers the strike, his best target all night. It's that chemistry that he knows he throws to an area, and Hardy's going to be there.
Back to throw his 41st pass of the night. And this one's looking deep. At the goal line. And it's a 26 John Battle, remember, suspended for the first half of this football game. And Jamar Smith, the quarterback, looks to his right, gets Battle out of his position at the safety spot, and that created foot was down. And because of the angle of the catch, so can't they, know. Yeah, I think they went with the call on the field. The, the play stood. Unfortunate break for Louisiana Tech. Top target and goal, a stop on either of those plays to hold the Tigers to a field goal. You're looking at a very different game. A totally different game. Now, Louisiana Tech's trying to score a touchdown. Big time blitz. Like we saw on the last drive for Louisiana Tech. Incomplete. I've been impressed. To and they can lean on someone. If a guy needs an extra helping hand, this communication up front has helped them out. But this is where LSU has been bringing Devin White, number 40, in these critical third down situations. Keep an eye on 40 and purple. A catch, half a yard. Bodies collide, 20 bodies at the 47-yard line. And the Heisman Trophy contest, another former baseball player, or we could say future. Con future baseball <laughs> player. He's got a lot of money sitting in investments right now, <laughs> J-Mars. La Tech gets on the board. They get the ball back to start the second half. They scored 21 unanswered, but a few calls, a few plays that go LSU's way, and things turn different. <laughs> Smith sacked for the first. Is try to knock the ball out. It's a big time play by Devin White. When we sat with defensive coordinator Dave Aranda yesterday, I had to fact check our colleague Cole Kublik, yes, who's the master of film breakdown <laughs> and putting it in today. And with the effort from White, is doing it when it's not coming in a blitz package, and the effort equaling the outcome. One of the things also too, look, they Excuse run what I call, and that makes a quarterback have to speed up the throw. Plenty of time, incomplete, and to finish the thought on Cole. Was just a sophomore, and he was actually thrust into a leadership role as a true sophomore, and everybody's trying to say, can he be the next great linebacker here at LSU? All SEC last year, this year, showing and proving that he's the All-American that they expect him to be. And One last go at it for the Bulldogs, and that does it.